to our news is the record holder for stellar cool. Claps of thunder announce this process somewhere on Earth as often as 50 times a second. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. baby. Thor News presents. Pay attention. Don't pay attention. No question is dumb. That was a dumb question. Don't ask any questions. Baby, I need your love. Asterisk. <laughs> Astronomers estimate that more than half of the stars in the galaxy have companions. There are double, triple, and even quadruple star systems. There are dwarf stars, giant stars, dead stars, exploding stars, binary stars. A star with spiral arms. So we're perfectly safe here on Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, I regret to inform you. A new experiment called In Space, No One Can Hear You Scream. Every day. Experimenters have learned to start fires without flames from the human brain. Every day. It literally pulses us. Every day. You're not imagining things when it happens to you. But occasionally attracts attention. You don't need to ask the government. It's not there. Ironically, scientists think it's like being at a NASCAR race. Hello, world. Surprising but true. Every day on average. Record snowfall, killer tornadoes, devastating floods. There's no doubt about it. The weather in the USA has been positively wild. But why? Something unexpected is happening on the sun. What will happen next? Wild weather on Earth and other planets. I am comfortable in saying no one knows for sure what the sun will do next. Why don't we learn a little? Welcome to Historical Solar Science featuring the European Space Agency. Enjoy. Danish scientists have discovered that a speeding of the sun's activity seems to match the changes better. Records of a changeable sun go back thousands of years. They show repeated variations from one century to the next. Who can understand the Earth's environment without sufficient knowledge of the sun, which warms it and gives us life? A solar flare has the force of a billion H-bombs. And concern about the Earth's changing climate gives an urgency to solar research. The sun's magnetism is highly variable and puzzling and keeps changing the sun's behavior. The wind blowing from the sun drags its magnetism out into space. The rotation of the sun twists the magnetic lines. They're tightly wound around the equator and they corkscrew away into space. The solar wind and its magnetism have a long reach. They command a domain far larger than the orbits of the planets. We live deep inside the empire of the sun. Our ancestors worshipped the sun. They knew perfectly well that it rules the earth. And many temples and churches still point towards the rising sun. Today's devotees are solar astronomers and space scientists who stand in awe of the sun's vigor, its violence, and its variability. They know how it powers life. Green leaves act as photoelectric cells, absorbing the sun's rays. They know how it powers the world's weather, mainly by heating the tropical oceans. But the sun's own weather still baffles the scientists. Sorry, dude, that was 1996, and around 2001, the sun stopped baffling scientists. They knew everything about the sun, so it became one of their lowest priorities. Earth science became their number one priority, even though we already have Earth-based agencies, and even the James Webb Telescope is a much higher priority than solar science. Solar science has become the red-headed stepchild that lives in the cupboard under the stairs for Privet Drive, like Harry Potter did. Why would science change its mind so radically? Why would science basically ignore solar science? Where solar power is the smartest step for clean energy. Makes you wonder. God bless everyone. Ulysses explores this windswept empire afresh by flying over the poles. It helps the scientists to make better sense of the stormy star to which we trust our lives and to solve the magnetic riddles of its changeability.